Hello again, everybody. It is your Black Knight. And here we are in... I got a on my we're in New London, and where am I in New London? Where is the darn... Where are we on the map? Oh, here we are. Double and jump. I'm finding... It's an interesting thing. It's been so long since I've played this regularly. I'm trying to remember how everything was laid out and... Go to. The best way around everything. It's, it's an interesting. I mean, I spent a lot of time in New London, especially. Let's see. I, mean, I think we owned. I think Base owned it for a little while. I know Draco owned it. Draco owned it for the longest. Danger. Volatile gas. They were our. They were our allies. So we would trade stuff back and forth based on the. The politics of the moment. I don't know. Did we ever? I think when we came to the Freelancer Universe, we took over New London as base. And originally, the Sentinels. We were the Sentinels when we came here because it was kind of a conglomerate of a bunch of different clans that came from the the, the old uh, the what you might call it, the old uh, Teamoid server. I'm having a, a, a rainbow. originally it was the Aussie. It was the later it was the Aussie Freelancer, and then it was, originally it was Get On It. That was what it was. When Get On It shut down, it went from Get On It, and then he lost his sponsorship with Get On It, and then made it Aussie Freelancers, and then eventually shut it down. So all, a bunch of us came here as refugees to the 24-7 Freelancer universe. And so we formed, you know, this one overarching clan called the Sentinels, and we put our old clan tags at the other end of it. And the idea kind of was, we the Sentinels tag was so that we could get official official clan status, and then, uh, what you call it, then we just played the way we always used to play. And that, after a while, was okay, but we, it broke up, and, you know, base went back to being base. Most of the Draco guys, except for, except for Grisha, Grisha continued to play for a while, and we just gave him a base tag. The running gag being that he's always been in base, really. It's, and... Still friends with Grisha. Still, I still talk to him, and you know, actually got to meet him, and he came to New York all the way from London, and now he's gone back to New Zealand. So I don't know that I'll, you know, unless I get to New Zealand, and boy, that's not on the radar. It's not something I have the the, the means or the time to pull off. It'd be really awesome. One of the most beautiful places in the world. But I got to meet, I got to meet him and his wife, and they're just incredible people. They're really just wonderful. Had one of the best times ever. Um, but so, you know, when we came here, we, we picked New London because that was kind of a Draco staple. And we we, we, we worked out here, had many, many system battles, a lot of fun. A lot of defending this against the, uh, the aggressive pirates of Lou. Dog, Destination is too far. You know, it says 5.5, which means. It should be within docking range. I remember 10K was docking range, unless they've changed something. But it's on the other side of the planet, I think. Yeah, it's have to go all the way over there. So technically speaking, the planet's at 5K, but the, the docking range's at 10. 10 plus. Yeah, there we go. Boop, there we are. done a lot of unloading uh, illicit cargo from, from LGs up here. I'm trying to remember which place I used to imagine the base had its offices. Like, do we have a, offices on the planet or was it one of the, uh, the bases? I forget. I haven't read any of my old RP stuff in a long time. I think it was all on, on the planet. Your request to land is granted. Proceed to land. It's been a long time since I've been to the rain-soaked streets of New London. I wonder if our time in Freelancer had any influence on, on Grisha eventually moving to London itself.
and then eventually back to New Zealand because, well, reasons. He moved back at about the time where, like, every other week someone was getting stabbed. Like, there's these massive stabbings and stuff in New London. Just in London itself. It seemed like the best thing to do. Now, it's an interesting thing. If you look at, at Star Citizen, I could step out of my plane here and I could, I could walk all the way to the bar... Or I could walk all the way to, you know, the ship store and stuff like that. And that's great. It's really immersive, you know. But here I can just get a job and go. Like, it's it's so much easier to move around and go from place to place. It's like you can fast travel from one to another. And, you know, that's something they should really have in Citizen. I think it's just... See how easy this is? This would take you 10 minutes walking around and start a citizen. So many battles here. At least to heavily defend this against all, all sorts of people attacking us. There's always something going on. Let's see, does that work? There we go. Yes, I do remember how to do the free look. All right. Even when there's nobody logged in, it's still such an active universe, you know? There's so many ships flying around, each with their own agenda. Head over to the uh, the twenty four seven freelancer universe site and see what the see if the map is still up. See who owns what. Whose system am I in right now? I mean that was a thing. From Canterbury Station. Dock. Roger that. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock four. And I know if you're if you're jaded, if you're looking at you know 2019 graphics and saying, well, this is this is a nice old video. For the time, I mean, from in 2003. Now I'm great. I think I'm probably running the, the high def mod on this, but I mean, this is still. I think this is still more than adequate. Very it, it allowed yeah, you know, all right, look. Yes, the person graphics aren't anywhere near what they, they could be nowadays. But I mean, it's more than adequate to immerse your uh, your sensibilities here. All the news that's fit for you. This is the Colony News Service. See, this kind of stuff makes it so you know, here you get news articles, you know. Quincy Pierce, executive vice president of labor relations for BMM and father of two, was found dead Thursday. Molly assassins penetrated security at Thames Outpost late Wednesday night and made their way to Pierce's office. The VP was often known to work late, and the Mollies used this information to strike. They killed him with a blow to the head by a pickaxe that was left in the office. The murderers also left some fool's gold, the Mollies' infamous and gruesome calling card, in the executive's pocket. He saw him put a lot of effort into the little backstories here. Morrison is suspected in a fire that claimed the lives of two Cambridge University students last night. The fire broke out late in the evening at the headquarters of the Green Front, a lobbying organization that represents Cambridge interest in New London. Located within walking distance of the Cambridge University, the Green Front is composed almost entirely of professors and volunteer students. Two student volunteers perished in the rapidly spreading blaze that took several hours for firefighters to bring under control. Their loss is a terrible tragedy, said Professor Willingham, who issued a statement this morning from the Green Front. Now, 
were they trying to set the fire and then got caught up in it? What's this? Through? A constant threat. And more about the mollies. He gives you the background of um, of the area, so you can get a, a real feel for the universe. There's a lot of universe building in this game. You know? The shocking move, Lord Archer Braintree announced his retirement from the Cambridge University's Board of Regents yesterday. He said health problems and a want to spend winter amongst family. This means that a new professor will be chosen by the current regents and the College of Professors to ascend the regency. This position is one, of the, is one of great power in Cambridge, and many say the regents are nearly as powerful as the crown in many respects. There are many possible candidates, but no date has been set. But for the academic games which will weed out the less worthy scholars. Huh? It's like so much thought went into it. I have a theory. I, my theory on this game is that when people, when they finally, 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 finally sort out Star Citizen. And you gotta realize that the, the primary source of players for Star Citizen is freelancer players. It's the same guy, it's, you know, it's it's the same, the same mind behind it all. So the freelancer players are expecting this to be freelancer with, you know, updated graphics. And it's not. And once that becomes an obvious thing, some of them are going to play it. I mean, I, I already own it. Maybe we'll do another video on that soon. We will put another, we'll see what the latest is on, on Star Citizen. If I could bring myself to do that. Because every time I have to do that, it's like I have to uninstall it and reinstall it because for some reason the updater does you know, oh well we've updated the updater and now you need something completely different because the code is now completely written in Fortran and they have to change everything over. Uh, it's, it's just hard, maybe Pascal this time. But you know, there are certain gameplay elements, like here, the jump game. Does it make any physical sense? Not really. No, I mean, you know, you, you could probably make some kind of, like, particles accelerating around here and therefore creating wormholes and warping space. And that's what, you know, that's what, you, that's what you're supposed to do. The amount of energy you need to do that would be, so would be like, the, the amount, for one gate, would be the, the amount of an entire sun. So, yeah, probably not. But we can suspend our disbelief here. But from a gameplay perspective, of being able to get around the map without having to kill yourself all day, I mean, it's, you know, that's, you know, that's just wonderful. These jump gates get, getting to change the entire look of your game. Armed Forces Omicron 12 bit Freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. I'm Alpha 2 1 You've because Harry was I'm in. Looking for. Is Harry back? I thought I saw Harry come back. Oh, VX3 is now in. In a new. A rank 1 in California. Looks like we're not the only ones here. That's someone setting up a new character, or is it someone who's actually come to the game? At any rate, I have a feeling that when people realize what they have in Freelancer, because you can't really get this experience anywhere else, I have a feeling that there will be... What's the term I'm looking for? Not a resurgence, you know. Not a resurrection, it's still here. A new renaissance. That's what I'm looking for. A renaissance of playing Freelancer once again. I think in the near future. I know I'm into playing it. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.